So shalom, everybody. We had a really good uh, class this morning on Sunday the 14th. I have a lesson prepared here for you. Uh, we're going to review page 43, which we worked on um, this morning, and we're going to prepare to move on to lesson seven. Less is the end of lesson six, and I'm going to bring it up on the screen now so you can see it. And this is lesson seven. The, this is the end of lesson six, page 43. Um, you're welcome to use this in your books or to print this out and share with me. Okay. The first word here is yayin. Yayin. It has a double yud and a final nud and an ah and an e sound. Yayin. The second word is ha man, ha man, with two ah sounds, ha man, with a final nun. The third word is da man, dalad mem final nun, with the ah sounds underneath, da man. The fourth one is na tan, nun taf final nun. Natan. The last one on the first line is Matan. Mem, Taf, final nun. We go to the second line. And again, we always start on the right and move forward because Hebrew starts on the right. The first word is Shana. Shana with a silent hey on the end. Shana means gear. The next word is bashana, bashana in a year or in the year, bashana in the year, um, which we we talk about at Rosh Hashanah, which is the start of the year. That's bashana. Word three is hashana. Hashana with the ha at the beginning means the year, not just year, but the year. Ha sha na. Again with the silent hey at the end. The fourth word is who. With the hey, the oo sound is the stick with the dot next to it and a silent aleph on the end. Who. And the last word in this line is ha who. Ha hu. On line three, ah nu. Silent aleph at the beginning with the ah sound on the underneath it. Ah nu. Next word, ba nu. Next word, ta mu. They're, they're changing up the letters a little bit here. Ta mu, as in mem, ta mu. The next word is etanu, etanu, and the final word in the third line is ba'u, with the silent aleph in the middle. Ba'u. Line four, ka'mu, ka'mu. Word two, kumi, kumi. The oo sound is the stick with the dot next to it. Kumi. The third one is kuma. Kuma. The fourth word is kadish. You have the e sound with the little yud that extends it. Kadish. And this one adds uh, a sound on the end. At the end, ka di sha, ka di sha, with a silent aleph on the end. Line five, deen. Deen means rule or law. Deen. Ba deen is the next word. Ba deen in the law. Ba deen. And the third word is ha deen, the law. Ha deen. The fourth word is Yagid. Yagid. 
And the final word in the fifth line is ya gi do. Ya gi do. Moving on to the fifth line, I mean the sixth line, one, two, three, four, five, six line, mean. It's just got the E underneath with the one dot and the final nun, mean. You can add a yud in, and in the next word, you'll see that they added the yud in for extra emphasis. It's the same word, it's mean, but they've had an oo put on the end of it, on the beginning of it, I'm sorry. There's a new at the beginning of it added in, so it's oo mean, oo mean. The next word is ma a mean ma silent aleph a ah, and then mean at the end ma a ah, mean the fourth word is ha sa dik ha sa dik a, a tzadik is a, a pious or holy person Ha at the beginning means the. So Ha Tzadik is the holy person or the the pious person. Ha Tzadik. And the next final word in this line is Ba Tzitzit. Ba Tzitzit. Uh, tzitzit are the, um, the wrappers that you put around your arm and on your forehead when you're praying. Bot seat seat is with your seat seat. And then the final line, ha yayin. We've taken the very first word and we've put the ha on the beginning of it to mean the, the wine, ha yayin. Word two, mi yayin, from the wine or from wine, mi yayin. The third word is, Dayan, Dayan, which is a judge. It goes with the word Dean, but it's Dayan. Ha Yu, Ha Yu, U. So the Yud in the middle, Ha Yu, Ha Yu. And the last word in the page is A Yin. Ah, yin. So please share um, and work on this for next uh, Sunday, which is our prep for Passover day. And I will see you soon. Shalom.